If you're moving from version 10 or before and you're using PDA-based time study, that could be an Android device, a pocket PC, an iPad, whatever, and you upgrade to version 11, you're going to have to move your actual templates uh, from version 10 to version 11 and you actually have to copy them because original version 10 and before are XLS files. Now XLS files were uh, designed for Excel 2000 and 2003 and uh, they work in compatibility mode in 2007 and 2010 but version 11 of Timer Pro only works in version 2007, 2010 and 2013 of Excel and they're also created as XLSM M being micro enabled. So this is what you have to do when you're upgrading from a version 10 or before a time study template to a version 11. So here I've got my version 10. You can see down here, you can tell which version you have. If you look at row 32 of your main menu sheet, it says Timer Pro Professional V10. This is version 10 and this is the date of the build of that particular uh, template. So you can see this is May 24, 2012. So essentially you're looking for V10 earlier here. So what we want to do is we want to move this over. So you've got an outline here of a simple warehousing type study. And maybe you want to move this over to version 11. What you're going to do is you're going to open up version 11 here. This is the icon for Timer Pro version 11. And it's going to pop up. Again, look at uh, row 32 here. It says Timer Pro Professional V11. Right, it shows you the date. And this is the template date. This is June 17, 2013. So let's say I wanted to create a version 11 one. So I do a new file. Notice up here also, it's an XLSM. It's a macro enabled sheet. This supports Excel 2007, 2010 and 2013. So we're going to do a new file here. And I'm just going to call this uh, version 11 here. Click on the save. Give it a second or two. And uh, here's my version 11 up now. It will always come up with a default template here. So you can see the default here. So the first thing you want to do is delete whatever's in the default sheet. And then you're going to toggle back to your own version here. So we can back over to version 10 and we want to copy these elements here. So we just highlight them, right button and do a copy. Move over to version 11, right button. And very often you'll find you can't paste it in. Now why can't you paste it in? because it's two different instances here. So you have to do something a little bit different here. So what you can do is go back to your version 10 here and you're going to hit the right button on the element sheet. And what you're going to do is take this move or copy option right here. And then when you do the drop down, you'll see the other one. Here's your version 11. This actually lets you jump between the old version 10, which is compatible with 2007, 10 and 13 and right to it here. So you can see I do a drop down here. I select version 11 here. I select maybe to drop it right before, it says before sheet, the element sheet. I'm going to create a copy. I click on that. Right, it tells me that's okay. I just say yes here. Now if I go over to version 11 now, you can see I've created an elements 2 here. So here's the blank one I created a minute ago, which I decided I'm not going to use. So I'm going to delete that one. And it's very, very important if you do this copying routine that you rename this. The element sheet that comes in, you have to rename it to elements. We are expecting the elements sheet to be here. So you want to come down here and just remove any prefix or suffix that might add to it here so that you end up with an element sheet right here. And now you're ready to go and then of course you'd want to probably save that and you've got a version 11 of your study that you can use directly and it's a pure XLSM format here that you can use with the uh, version 11 Timer Pro.